Hi all, this is Chris here with Everyday VBA. This is the solution to the Everyday VBA challenge, and that is just to uh, set the format back to the default, whatever the normal default um, formatting is. And this can typically happen when you're cut, cutting and pasting and you're copying from emails or you're copying from Word documents or, or wherever really you're getting your data, or even from the internet. You're gonna come back with really funky formats. It makes your, it makes your data look, uh, it just makes it not look as clean. So. This one's actually fairly straightforward. I have this set up as a table. I do love tables just because their formatting is really nice. It makes them very easy to read. Um, so I highly recommend using those. Okay, this one's really cool because we're gonna, it's really pretty simple. We're just going to record it and then we're gonna tweak the recording. Um, so we're gonna just dig right in and get that done. So uh, first thing is we gotta go to the developer. We're gonna go to the record macro. We're gonna record it in this workbook. We're going to call this um, default format. That's all we're going to call it. Um, we're going to save it in this workbook. It's going to create the macro for us. Um, I'm actually going to open up my Visual Basic Editor right now. I hit Alt F11. Um, it's just so that you can see kind of what the code is doing uh, so that we can do it in real time. Now, the important thing to do when you're recording macros is that when you're recording those macros, it's going to, do, it's going to take every keystroke. Now, I didn't take Alt F11 because that's not necessarily a keystroke. That's just opening something. Uh, but you'll notice when I click on this right here, um, let me shrink this a little bit so you can actually see what happened in the code. You'll notice that in the code it says, hey, I just selected a table. I selected the headers. Um, and now I moved the window size, <laughs> which you know is not helpful. But uh, we're going to hit Control A, which is going to select all. So I'm going to select all of that table, and then we are going to, um, I'm, I'm basically just showing that so that you can see that that's how that works. Let us go to home. We're going to make this bigger. We're going to go to uh, cells. And I just want to set it to normal. Now, if you have this expanded, a lot of times this actually will show up on your screen, but I've, I recorded this smaller so that it doesn't, um, so that it's bigger on the screen. So once I hit normal, uh, it's going to set that to the normal text. Now, the other thing that we need to do here is we need to um, set the, the background. So I'm going to grab this up. Order the fill, the fill. So we've got a couple fill. Um, we're going to fill with no color. Click on that. Da, 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 no color. And that'll get rid of that. So now we've got that completely recorded. Now what did we record? So let's just go take a look. And we're just going to clean this, clean this code right up. Now before we do that, we need to make sure that we turn it off. So you, you should have a stop button down here. I'm just going to go ahead and click that. You also have that in your developer. Um, if you click on developer, you're going to have this little stop button here. You don't want to you don't want to be editing your code while it's recording because um, you could end up uh, with some uh, with some <laughs> you end up what happens is you end up recording over yourself and it ends up kind of being a mess. So let's go ahead and just dig into this and see what we did. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this. We're just going to say that we're going to we're going to we are going to um, we're going to go selection dot current region and the, and we're also going to set that to a range, right? So let's, let's actually throw in some, some objects here. So we're going to go dim RNG as range RNG. We're going to go set RNG equal to uh, the current region. Now the reason you use set is because you're doing an object. And so what we need to do is we're going to copy all of this out because we don't need it. We don't need to sh change the si size of the application. All we need to do is we need to set that that range, um, the style equal to um, equal to normal. Now um, you'll also notice that when you're recording macros, sometimes you get these long with statements. Um, and some of this stuff you need, some of it you don't. Um, and so 
in this, just because I, I've done this long enough, I know that the um, the stuff that I need in here is RNG dot interior. Um, you'll notice that basically everything after interior is basically would be another, uh, you could go dot pattern, right? Um, and the only thing that I need here is dot pattern equals none. Now I don't necessarily have to do this. I could have re replaced um, selection with RNG and I would have been fine. I'm just going to like that. It doesn't like my two dots. And we should be good to go. So that actually gets me all the way back to just getting normal, just what normal looks like. And so if we come in here and that's normal fonts, normal everything. Um, so we come in here and let's, you know, let's change some of this to really big text and let's color some stuff, color it like that. And then let's just see if we can run our macro. So we go to developer tab, macros, default format. Let's run it. It doesn't like pattern because I probably didn't put an equal in there. Let's run it now. And you'll notice that that sets it all the way back to whatever the default format is. Now, if you're doing this one time, um, you don't need to do this. But if you're copying and pasting and you have code that's tied to it, this really does make it look a lot nicer and a lot cleaner. So that is your Macro Monday solution. I hope you enjoyed.